So what is up guys? It is Paul from Not an Apple Fan here and I thought I would talk to you a little bit about NVIDIA and their launch of the 30 series. So to tell a story, right? So initially today I was like, what am I going to do a video on? And I seen the, the, the article about NVIDIA probably moving to TSMC for the 30 series or something else or whatever in the future. And I thought that was interesting, so I thought I'd do it. So I reached out. Dodd my eyes, cross my T's, just to kind of get as much information as I possibly could on, on the whole scenario. And then what happened was, uh, I, I, I just started realizing how terrible of a launch the 30 series was. Not in terms of the product, products, hold on NVIDIA fanboys, cool your jets, relax, let's all calm down, let's not get, you know, Paul's head must remain firmly on his body at all times, relax. The graphics cards are fine. Um, in terms of just the launch and the stock and then everything, just and I, I just thought we'd go through it like blow by blow. I think you have to start off fundamentally, don't you? Realistically, you have to start off where the problem started. The problem started is Nvidia decided, you know what we're gonna do, lads? Right, Jensen in his office. Do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna sell this graphics card cheaper than we do than we were, and anybody thinks we're gonna sell it for. Now how we're going to do that is we're going to put 10 gigabytes of RAM on. We're going to put really fast because we can't, we can't go with it because we'd have to put, we'd have to put 12, uh, no. We'll put 10 gigabytes of RAM on. And what we'll do is we'll use Samsung's 8 nanometer process. Because Samsung's 8 nanometer process is cheap as chips, right? So we're going to do that. That's what we're going to do. They get the, get it back and they, they've already and, and done taped it out and made sure and brought it up and everything's fine. They go... It's a bit hot in there. Doesn't really go as fast as we thought it would go. Who would have known going on that Samsung process would have cost us some performance, would have cost us an awful lot of power. Who would have thunk it? Jensen, the engineer, by the way. So we're going to have to do that. We're going to have to over-engineer cooling solution here for this one, boy. So they went off, and fair play to them for the crack. They made a cooling solution that kept it cool and quiet. But, unfortunately, dumps all of that excess heat into your room. Hard to live with a 300 to 400 watt graphics card in your room. I know, I live with a Vega, very hot, right? I, 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 was, I was shooting my videos in a shed that really didn't have any heating in it, or insulation. So it's fine for fucking 300 watts to be circulating around that room. But you go and you live in a well-insulated house, you deal with 500 watts getting dumped into your room, you'll tell you about 500 watts is a total system power. So that's fine. That's absolutely fine because the graphics card is a screamer. It's an absolute three really fast graphics card. Seven hundred quid, thirty percent faster than we got before. Same price as the previous flagship. Grand gravy. Fine. Launch of thirty uh, ninety. Everybody's expecting twenty five percent, thirty percent faster because that's what the twenty the ten eighty Ti was versus the ten eighty. That's what the seven eighty Ti was versus the seven eighty. That's what you know going down the stack. It's pretty much what it did. But it turns out, oopty doopties, it's only 10% faster, right? That's not a big problem. But where the big problems came in was when people tried to buy these graphics cards. That's where the big problems started, right? When people tried to buy these graphics cards, the bots happened. So, you know, BotFest 2020 we're just there's bots everywhere and they're buying up the graphics cards and almost instantaneously almost right away graphics cards were showing up on ebay for ludicrous money and people decided to dick with the with the i'm, I'm good for an old troll i like a little bit of a troll I'm grand for it it's fucking hilarious as long as it's not illegal i'm i think it's fucking gas right fuck you you evil scum of the earth bastards funny 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 shit right um but what happened was the vitriol and the anger about people not being able to get a graphics card. I understand it because some of you guys, on my advice in fairness, sold your 2080 Ti, right? And the only reason why I told you to sell your 2080 Ti now was because you get a thousand quid for it. Rather than wait later when you're going to get 700, 600, 400, 500, whatever it's going to be. That's, that's the reason why I told you to sell it now. But my own always came with a caveat of get an RX 570, you know, for a hundred bucks. Do you until... You ever need a graphics card? You can play every graphics, every game at 1080p, grand. Play every game at 1440p on medium settings, probably grand as well. So RX 570, it's a grand little graphics card. 
but everybody skipped that step. So do you know what I mean? Like, you know, oh, Paul, Paul gives advice. Let's take the bit that 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 sounds good and the bit that sounds too like you know too too good sense or makes more. Nah, we'll probably just leave that on the table. We won't do that. And the reason why is because I like instant gratification. So I knew it was going to be hard to get these graphics cards at launch, right? Bought one, um, bought a pre-order, and then um, you know nobody else got one. I got a pre-order, thought oh, this is grand, I got a pre-order, nobody else got one, it's fine, right? Don't like pre-ordering, by the way, kind of against against my principles. For the content, I have a YouTube channel, it's ran from this box. I thought putting something else in this box and running some benchmarks on it might be fun, right? So for the content, I bought the 30A and I went with the pre-order. Pre-order, yeah, your grand gravy sent me a delivery date and all that stuff, grand. Next of all... Two days later, get an email. Do you know what that graphics card that you yeah? Well, you're no you're no longer getting that. What you're doing is you're gonna wait in a queue, an online queue to get a graphics card. That I paid for. Took the money out of my account, by the way, for that graphics card. Took it out of my account. I was like, how can you charge somebody for something you don't have? It doesn't make any sense. Like, are you sending it to me or are you not sending it to me? I could be waiting till fucking June next year for this graphics card. For all I know. So I'm not fucking locking 800 quid of my own hard-earned money into a foot. Like, no, it's not going to happen. By the way, like this video if you like this video. Because if you like this video, ultimately that tells YouTube that I'm better YouTuber than I actually am. And that will, in fact, mean that I get more views. Which is ultimately what I want, is more views. Any YouTuber tells you they want more views, they're lying to you. It, you shouldn't be in this game if you're not in it for views, right? Thank you to anybody who likes this video. Let's aim for 5,500 likes. Let's do this thing, boys. Let's go. I get 30,000 views on my videos usually, so let's do it. But anyway, so that was fine, right? So I went, fuck that, cancel that noise. Goodbye, see you later. What the fuck? And then I, I started hearing all of the store pre-orders. Like, like people get, not getting their orders. People not going to get one. People, you know, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Now you're going to enter a raffle apparently to get one in some places. You end so you pay them all of the money up front, and you get the chance to enter a raffle to get a graphics card. Now I know ultimately you'll get one at the end of it, but you don't know because Jensen has come out another step along this way and said we won't have the supply shortage st st sorted out until 2021. It could be 2021 when you get your graphics card if you're for, for far enough down one of these lists. So. For me, when you used to do pre-orders, the way pre-orders started was, and even I hated them then, was you'd go in and you'd say, hey, what's the story? Your name's Paul. Here's Tenor, right? Take a number. Grand, thanks very much. And we'll have your thing on Tuesday. Right, great. Grand, go in Tuesday. Pay the rest of it. It's there for you, right? Or online, you do the same thing. Then it started to be, now you have to pay the whole thing up front, but we'll guarantee you get your thing. You go in, you get your thing. Then it evolved into, now you put your pre-order in, and by the way, we don't know how much stuff we're going to get, so we're just going to, we're going to sell as many pre-orders as we can, and then, you know, if you don't get one, you don't get one, right? And you have to wait in a queue, and now it's, let's join a raffle. I think that's fucking gas, I think that's for the, for the idiots to do, and I won't be doing it. I just think it's fucking stupid. I think it's absolutely reprehensible, in fact, to join a queue. If somebody take 800 quid of your money. What if they go out of business in that time? What if what, we're in the middle of a fucking pandemic? What if a business goes out of business? Do you know what happens to your money? You and go fuck yourself for your money. Because you know who gets the money first? The bank. That's who. Your money's gone. That's what happens. Honestly. So, you know... For the people, uh, you know, uh, pre-orders, man, fuck pre-orders, seriously. And I'm not, I know it's very rare for business, but in the middle of a pandemic, business going out of debt, at left, right, and center, might happen. You might be stuck there, going, oh, you gave such and such a retailer 800 blips and no graphics card. Could happen. And but I say oh, 100 quid because that's about the average these 700 quid graphics cards are selling for now. Um, that's what happened to the MSRPs. As soon as they knew they were going to be, they started going Looney, Looney Tunes money. And they're going to keep going Looney Tunes money. But that's not the end of it. It does. It, it just keeps getting fucking worse, right? So when, the, when people actually got their graphics cards and put them into their systems, right? Didn't fucking work. 
start crashing. Middle of games, crashing, 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 crashing. And, you know, NVIDIA's blaming the IAB partners. The IAB partners blaming NVIDIA. Frankly, I think it's NVIDIA's fault because they're the ones that give the spec. And, you know, you can f talk about capacitors. You can talk about drivers. You can say the drivers have come down to fix it. The drivers just make your, your, your uh, graphics card run a little bit slower than it used to run. And it's kind of funny that, um, you know, uh, NVIDIA likes to blame these things, but the reality is NVIDIA, you made your graphics card go so fast because you were terrified of losing to AMD. That's the reason why it happened. Come out and be fucking honest. That's the truth. We can't lose to AMD. Let's make this graphics card a fucking screamer, right? And it is a fucking screamer. I'm not gonna argue with that. It's fast. But in order to do that, it's run a little bit too close to the raggedy edge. NVIDIA have never sold your graphics card above 250 watt TDP. And everybody thinks, Big Navi's not going to be that fast. It's 320 watt TDP graphics card, boys. Like, come on. It's going to be fast. Whether it beats it or not, I don't know. But it's going to be fast. If NVIDIA had to, they did the reason why the graphics card were crashing. They were pushed that little bit too close to the problem zone. You know what I mean? That's the reason why. These are all 250 watt TDP graphics cards wouldn't be happening. So that was, that happened, right? People bought the graphics cards, get them home. Last time you got Space Invaders with your 2080 Ti. This time, because they used a, pro, a, a, a manufacturer who doesn't know, who doesn't make fucking um, GPUs for a living, they make smartphone chips, which are tiny little chips. Now they have to make big chips. They're not yielding very well, so therefore, bins are probably terrible and then they're trying to clock them up to 1900 mega it's probably not working so then they have to release a driver that fixes it but you get a tiny bit of performance but it's ironic that all of the reviews are already done and out in the wild so you know it doesn't really matter now to nvidia and then they talk about the founder's edition is going to be sold at best buy which by the way is a massive big fuck you to anybody else who lives in any of the rest of the world because that means that people can't get them if you don't live don't live in the united states of america you don't have Best Buy, so go fuck yourself, basically, is what's happening there. And I have to remain, I don't know if that's the case, if they're going to keep selling them on their NVIDIA store worldwide, or it's just... It's just a, but reality is, I would imagine it's just the United States that they're going to sell it in Best Buy, and that's it. And you know the reason why that is, is because the United States makes the biggest noise. You're only 400 million people. There's 7 billion people in the rest of the world, but the reality is if they didn't sell it properly in the United States... They would be the ones that would be complaining. They're the ones with the most YouTubers. They're the ones with the most uh, tech press. They're the ones that are going to make the biggest noise. They're the ones that are going to make NVIDIA look the, the worst. So therefore, NVIDIA has to make sure that the United States gets as much product as it possibly can. Okay, that's the reason why. So it's kind of annoying. And ultimately, you know, a tinfoil hat firmly placed on my head. Um, you know, the, the, the rumors out there, the rumblings in the ether are that the, the NVIDIA don't want to sell you this Founders Edition, because once again, terrified of losing to AMD, had to make a 320 watt graphics card, had to make an over-engineered cooling solution that they've never had to make before, which frightened the living shite of them, cost them an awful lot of money, and now they don't want to sell it to you because NVIDIA don't like making less margin, so therefore they're just going to pass on the cost to the other AIB partners, and they're going to just sell like a limited quantity of these, and then it's probably just going to dry up, and you're not going to see Founders Editions anymore, because ultimately, there's not enough money in it to be made for NVIDIA, and that doesn't look good on the bottom line. Do you know what NVIDIA... If you just gone with TSMC in the first place, I know, I know now you can't, it's too late, but ultimately if you just gone with TSMC in the first place, right, what would have happened? You would have to, you would have to make less money, right, that's all it would have, you still would have made a fuck ton of money, you would have stole, sold way more graphics cards, and selling more of something is better than selling less of something and making more money on it. It, you, you could, like, you're gonna sell fuck tons of these graphics cards, make the proper product. But anyway, so that, that, that happened, right? gets worse just keeps getting worse right so everybody's gone out and they bought these 38 jensen says not gonna be sorted till 21st uh, till till 2021 should i say that, that that happened as well you know the 3070 was supposed to be relaunched launched by now is it it's supposed to be launched by now not out do you know why it's not out because they want to 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 hijack piss on amd's cornflakes there's no reason other than that they can give all the reasons to stock and all that bollocks that they usually do because they like to pretend that they don't have a competitor but but full well the reason for the for the launch of the the 3070 on the 29th of october is amd you you make graphics cards do you two make graphics cards too you like to have cornflakes in the morning well, i'm gonna piss on them you like to eat ice cream well i'm gonna lick your ice cream before you get your ice cream that's the whole idea right that's what it is that's let's just call a spade a spade let's be honest for ourselves that's what it is right so they delay that thing right that thing Leading to rampant speculation that, oh, Big Navi's not going to be any faster than that. And they're just, you know, whatever. Blah. 
um, which is already starting to feed into the hands of, of making Big Navi not look as good, which means that AMD then have to, pre, you know, before launch, show you off some numbers to go, look, it's, it's going to be faster than 3070, everybody really killed your jets. Probably the reason why they did it, realistically, was because they didn't want to show you anything, but, you know, NVIDIA have pissed on our cornflakes, they have to show you something so you know that it's not in the performance realm of that, and that's not, you know what I mean, because, yeah. So... Um, but that's grand, so that happens, right? Now, now there's rumblings and rumours around the internet, and I've, I've had words with people, and what I can tell you is that, fucking hell, they might be moving to TSMC. Now, the original article was mistranslated, it said it's going to move more volume to TSMC, right? It could be for anything, could be for a new product, we don't know, but you got to imagine that NVIDIA have realised right now, I'm peaking a bit, am I? Peaking a bit. There we go, we'll bring it down a bit, right? Bring it down a bit. Right, there we go. We've, you gotta, you got to realise that. NVIDIA have noticed. Shit, lads. These guys are not yielding as well as we thought they would. We can't meet demand anywhere near close to what we can get. Well, what we can do now is we can we can, we can, can drop down these graphics cards in price later on. And we can move over and release a new super lineup or something on TSMC. And, you know, that will take the heat off our demand. So we'll have two two parties making it. You get, you get, for, you'll, for less, you'll get the shittier version. And for more, you'll get the better version. And, you know, if we lose to this... So this is their, their part card to play. This is Everybody's looking for where is nvidia's card that they have to play because nvidia usually have a card the 3090 is as fast it goes so if amd beat that they're fucked but i don't think amd will beat that but if they do they're absolutely fucked so where is their card to play well let's go on to tsmc like we always should have fucking went on to tsmc so now they're going to go on to tsmc they're going to make the graphics cards on tsmc and um yeah everybody will get a tsmc graphics card which is going to be a seven animator pro product a proper seven animator product and be a bit a little bit faster probably be at 250 watts again yeah. So, I'd like to put it out to you, the audience, and I'd like to ask you, do you think the 30 series was a very good launch? You know, because what I found funny was, you know, I, I Twitter is my, my, my new passion, and you go through Twitter on a daily basis, and there's people fighting about, you know, graphics cards being this speed, that speed, the other speed, all... All things, you know, blah, 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 blah. And people are just like, you know, it's going to be this speed. It's gonna be, and they're fighting and they're bickering and there's just arguments and trolls. And, you know, I've seen tech tubers having rows. Tech tubers having rows with each other over a graphics card. And I've been involved in some, a couple of the rows because I think the 3090 is a fucking joke. And, yeah, just everything. It's a fucking clusterfuck. And it's all been done because people got excited about a graphics card and then couldn't fucking get it and i'm not like i'm not i'd say 90 percent of the problem is the fact that we've got covid going on <laughs> no i'd say 60 percent of the problem is probably got covid going on more people staying at home more people want a game and i think about 40 percent of the problem is samsung that's the reality um i think they'd still be having complete supply constraints if there was no no covid going on um you know, probably some of the problem is 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 with the memory as well. But yeah, so that's that's the issue. And I just think it was a shit show of a launch. I think it's open goal season for for Navi. Um, I think if Navi comes out with a product that's comparable to a 3080, but significantly cheaper, they have a win. I think if they beat the 3080 and they're a little bit cheaper, they have a win. If they if they destroy the 3090, well then they've won. Full stop. Um. But ultimately, they just have to have stock. And and that's it. Like, I, I found it really interesting. I seeing online um, some surveys. And this is this is what I found really interesting. I'll end on this. You know, people bitching and moaning that they didn't get Xboxes and they didn't get Playstations. But you look at the surveys. And the surveys were saying 50% of people who wanted them got them. Right? Now, that's disappointing. Because you would want 100% of people to get them. But only 50% got them, right? And that's absolutely fine. But you see that. And then you go and you look and go, wait a minute. I look at the same surveys, and there was different surveys around the place. Uh, how many of you did, did got a 3080? And it's in the 5 and 10%. So, you know, argument over who is, who's paper launching what. Consoles were real launched with millions of units. Graphics cards were paper launch with probably in the order of magnitude of maybe 20,000 units, 30,000 units worldwide. 
you've seen you've seen stock lists of like what people how many orders they got in and big retailers and how many units they actually got and it's fucking frightening if you were in one of those fucking queues i would be terrified i'd be absolutely terrified that it could take till next year to get me graphics card i have 800 quid locked up in this bad boy what am i going to do in the meantime do you know what i mean this is kind of it's fucking it's a shit show anyway like it if you liked it dislike it if you disliked it but if you disliked it tell me why you disliked this can't fix it if i don't know what i did wrong and in the comments let me know what you think and by the way boys just a final word of of oh yeah let me know let me know did you manage to get your 38? Are you happy to you get your 38? You, are you getting a 3090? Are you, why are you going to wait for Big Navi? I want to genuinely want to hear what you have. Gen genuinely do want to hear what you have to say. Um, and do you think it was a shit show at launch? But also, the Techonomics podcast on YouTube, you can go check it out. Me and Chris from The Good Old Gamer, we do a podcast um, every Tuesday. Second episode's live today, so if you go check that out, that would really help me out. And um, yeah, you can do the Patreon, PayPal thing. We access the Discord, and sometimes I'm in there doing voice chats, so you get a chance to chat to me there. And yeah, um, if you don't, you know that all of the money going, th going from that is being used to build an Apple Fan HQ. And um, yeah. If you don't want to do that, you can buy some merch. I'll talk to you next one. Go press this button, stop recording. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.